Logic. Logic. Listen, Logic. That's how you rap about white privilege. They gonna love me for my ambition. Shout out to everybody in the world right now. This is Sound from Club Ambition. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Leave your opinion about this album throughout the reaction. Jack Harlow. Interesting career. First album, debut album, I loved. I thought it was a perfect album. 10 out of 10. I think it was one of the best debut albums in a while. It's amongst them. You can argue it, whatever you want. Second album, Come Home, The Kids Miss You. I thought it was a good album as well. I didn't think it was as good as his debut album, but it was the most highly criticized album release of 2022. People were saying it was trash. People were saying Jack Harlow was overrated. This is too pop. This is not rap. This is too polished. What is this shit? They were making fun of his bars. They were questioning his ability at rapping. In my opinion, it was just pop rap. You know, it was poppier than his first album, but I felt like it had a demographic that it was going to work towards. I thought it was going to be huge. The album wasn't as big as I expected. Afterwards, the steam kind of died off. He had a big tour, but other than that, the singles, you know, no songs started to bubble off of it. The singles prior to the album, you know, with the Fergie sample, the songs that came out prior to the album were huge. After the album, so Jack Harlow on that cover art, he seemed kind of dim. Microphone. Now this album, out of nowhere, surprise album by Jack Harlow, no features, no trackless release, no singles, and it's 10 songs long, about 20 minutes long album, short album. The cover art is him naked, damn near like this. And then you got trash cans in the background. Why is there trash on the album cover, Jack Harlow? Is the album gonna be trash? It fucking better not be. Shout out to my boy, Angel Lopez, who's a producer on this album. He's a producer for Jack Harlow. He's been supporting me for a couple years, and I support him back. You know, he's done a, a, a great amount of work in the industry. He's a huge, huge instrumental part of the production teams that don't get as much awareness and attention as they need to in the music industry. So shout out to Angel Lopez. You know, I'm excited to hear what he cooked up and helped Jack Harlow cook up on his album. I would love to meet Jack Harlow one day, Jack. We need to do a, a reaction with you in the car with me. And if the music's ass, I'll be able to tell him in his face, Jack! That shit could have been better. I don't give a fuck. A unique moment for the fans to interact. But nonetheless, shout out to my boy, Sitting in Shade. Shout out to my boy, Ants Brand. Also, this video is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you're looking to bet fantasy sports bets during this playoff season, tonight's the Lakers game. You can bet if LeBron's going to get higher or lower than five assists, etc. Extremely amazing, unique ways to bet. And you're going to get $100 for free. $100 for free. On us. Ambition is the code. Use our code ambition. Promo code ambition. The link as well. If you want to just click the link instead of using the promo code, there's a link in the description and also in the comments that'll take you directly to sign up to Underdog Fantasy and get that hundred dollars for free to bet on this entire playoffs. Whatever you want to bet on. You got the NHL hockey playoffs, NBA playoffs, baseball's back. Make some bets. Win some free money. Why not? There you have it. $100. Ambitions the code. Brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you want to watch the video uncensored, uncut, long extended version of this reaction, patreon.com forward slash club ambition. Let's get to the fucking album. Track one, Common Ground. The suburbs are filled with abonics and trap sonics. Frat boys saying no cap, put racks on it. White girls squatting, trying to get that ass popping. Reciting rap lyrics by murder and cash profit. Get to feel like a thug, but don't have to act on it. Microsoft Office to complete their assignments. Never seen a hood, still can't help but have comments. Never had a combo with a kid from that climate that really has trauma. Common ground ain't that common. I respect this. I like this. These college students in a hurry to jump to a four count and say the N word. Get Molly them perks. Condescending suburban kids growing up to be rap journalists writing urban myths about who they think is the best. Woo! Condescending suburban kids growing up to be rap journalists writing urban myths about who they think the best urban kid and the worst is. And who's authentic. I think that's an easy shot to be taken at. Needle drop and other contemporaries. There's a lot of people 
on hip hop Twitter who are white accounts and they don't come from the world that a little baby, etc. They don't they don't come from the hood. Straight up bluntly guys, they don't come from the fucking hood. They don't see the, they didn't see the shit I've seen. They don't know nothing about that world, right? And it's okay. But you're going to interpret it differently. So sometimes it comes off condescending, you know, certain reviews and certain opinions. It comes off like they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And it's cool to see Jack Harlow using his white privilege to acknowledge this. And at the same time, I think Jack Harlow understands the plight as far as being around it. You know, he seems to have come from... You know, the hood, right? The hood of Kentucky, right? Louisville, Kentucky. Or I could be wrong. Comment down below. I could be completely wrong. I haven't watched a Jack Harlow interview in a while. I need to remember where he came up from. From But I recall it being that way. I could be wrong, though. But let's keep it going. Secondhand babe supreme in gallery department. Anything to feel less harmless. But it's all by design. Common ground ain't that common. Woo! Let me hear that. Common ground ain't that common. I like that. I like that. That was pretty cool. He's coming different on this album. Okay. He he this is he coming he coming to fucking spit. He's coming to spit. He's not wasting on one's fucking time. This is some other shit. Let's keep it going. They don't love it. Let's go. Fuck shaping my beard up. I'm liking the scruff. And fuck the hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Fuck her. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. I'm surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. Hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and holding comments. Cause I promise you I'm honestly better. They don't toss and turn in the fucking bed like him. Cause they don't love it. They don't love it. Wow. But I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I used to look up to the people that I'm moving in front of. Bryce and Jack G. James is up next. The rest is up to me. The page. I heard about the rapper that you claim was a mainstay. They had a nice run, but they never gonna maintain. They don't love it. I like that. He's saying that he loves this culture. He loves everything that is hip hop. He is not a fake person trying to come in and take the culture. He's not a culture vulture. He's negating all of those accusations. He's acknowledging the fact that he loves hip hop. He's a fan of hip hop. He's he's not just here to just be like, hey, let me just do this pop shit and and just uh get some features because I'm white. I get more attention. He's here to rap and have an actual place and compete with Eminem. He's saying like he's the best white rapper since Eminem or better than Eminem. You know, it's a bold take. Obviously, Eminem's top dog, and I don't think Jack Harlow's better than Eminem at all. But you have a lot of years to go. He's just starting. You never know what the fuck's going to happen 10 years from now. But I think it's an interesting take. You know, he seems to have a lot on his fucking mind, a lot on his chest to get off. Uh, there's a big chip on his shoulder. You guys gave him a lot of fucking chip on that dip. Last album, you guys gave him a lot of shit. He's fucking ready. Okay, let's keep it going. Ambitious. Club ambition, ambitious, let's go. Ambitious, 14 euro. Gray's going down as I'm stacking up zero. Peyton Siva, Montrez, Harrell. Let him come into my girl like I'm sterile. Damn! I told him my whip, I thought I had a green arrow. Class clown type, they like to holler at the chicks. Friend group solid as it gets. Even if it's 15 high school chicks. Better than a front row of dicks. Wait until the world gets a load of this. Oof. Ambitious, 19 euro. I just signed a deal, now my neck's up zero. Okay! No security, my brother's gonna step Will Ferrell getting high. My brother's gonna step Will Ferrell. Step Brothers, the Will Ferrell movie. That's a bar. I like that bar. It's a good bar. Is the playing field fair? Is it fair for me? <laughs> Charismatic, naive, young, arrogant team. Giving everything I got to the American dream. Looking at the crowd, they embarrassed for me. Jeez. Damn. Ambitious, 24 year old. I'm trying to be inspired, but y'all ain't got nothing. They trying to downplay me now. Ain't that something? Reading way too many articles about myself, I gotta fall back from it. Oh! These folks think it's about to be more active and less rhyming, but hell now nah, I gotta show these boys who the best out of Okay! He's talking that shit! He is letting you guys know his entire life journey from 14, 20 years old, 24 years old. He's letting you know, hey, this is what I've gone through. Hey! Now, towards the end of my career, more recently, not the end, but the most recent years of my career, I saw the hate. I saw the judgment you guys were passing on me. You were doubting me. 
Oh, white man can't jump? Now he's going to do acting. He said, fuck rap. No, I'm here to rap. And I'm not just here to rap that pop rap shit. You guys are tired of these hits. You don't want no more hit songs on TikTok? Okay, I'm going to give you some bars. This album, I think, is just straight bars. And if you notice, the flow patterns he's been doing, especially this one, has been the more of the Jack Harlow flow. He's trying to stray away from, I think, the Drake comparisons. A lot of people were saying the last album, a lot of Drake. Oh my God, he sounds like Drake. There's a lot of AI, Jack Harlow, Drake songs popping up now. There's a lot of comparisons, which is a good and bad thing. Drake's Drake. Oh my God, that's like being compared to Michael Jordan. But at the same time, you want to stand in your own lane. I think he's trying to find that self-identity. We all have identity crises. We think we're all perfect. Especially if you're an artist, you're going to have an identity crisis. I think Jack Carlo right now is going through that a tad bit because of the judgment from the people. He's trying to find himself. This is an album right here. This album is a step forward, him finding himself. I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Next song is that I... This is how I want to live my life. Is that I... The, the music sounds like HD. The engineers, the producers, shout out to Angel Lopez. The entire team, it's very high quality. You guys cannot say that about... You, you can't judge that, at least. You have to give credit where it's due. This shit sounds crisp. No selfies, just say hi. Looking to change lives, I already changed mine. Our ambition just ain't the same size, you pint size. I know airports and no flights. That's how I want to live my life. Is that I? No breakups and no fights. Okay, maybe a few fights. We can, I don't want to go to one oak. I just want to go home. And I don't want no free jury. I don't want promo. A hundred people on set used to be one go pro. My Woo! dad knows a lot of things that his son don't know. Damn! No airports and no flights. That's how I want to live my life. Is, is that all right? Is, is that, that all right? Damn! No time spent on timeline. Oh, shit! This was produced by J. Cole. Fuck! Damn! J. Cole produced this shit! You stupid. Hollywood Cole. Hollywood Cole. J. Cole produced this song. That's why it's just slapping right now. Damn, that beat was amazing. Jack, that was that I think that's the best song on this album so far. I like that energy. I like what he was coming with. Real life talk right there about him and his father. I, I liked I liked it. I liked it. You guys need to stop. Please be honest. I hope people are not hating this album. You can't hate on this album. This shit's good so far. That song was crazy. Let's keep it going. Gang, gang, gang. All right, the title scared me a bit, Jack. You might lose us here. What's up with this title? Gang, gang, gang. Let's go. Let's Ride for my dogs. Live for my dogs. Because it's... That shit's smooth like a smoothie. Home for the holiday. Friend pulled me to the side like, did you hear about Marcus? What happened? A bunch of girls say he raped him in the bag of some Target. What? Damn, this is like some um Eminem, like... Story shit. Damn, this is serious. Hold up. I can't even bop my head to this. The same Marcus we collected Pokemon cards with. He's got seven rape charges. What? Ride for my dog. Because it's... Wow. My friend pulled me to the side like, did you hear about Kevin? Or Kevin who? He got arrested. They found a bunch of messages he sent to little kids. And I met up with this 10-year-old and now the kid's saying he got molested. Nah, it's gotta be a different Kevin. Look, I'm telling you it's Kevin. The same Kevin we spend every weekend with. They call brethren. Oh! Ride for my dogs. Live for my dogs. What the fuck? For my gang till it ain't. Twins, but it depends. Brothers until something is uncovered. Almost like you never were here. Unconditional love. We hold accountable the ones we hold dear out of morals, but mainly fear. Wow. Almost like you never were here. I know a lot of you niggas out here in Rhode Island, URI, PC, motherfuckers I went to school with who've been accused of similar situations, rape, molesting, etc. throughout the recent years, especially throughout the pandemic. And a lot of you motherfuckers have disappeared. We don't see you nowhere. And a lot of people also might be afraid to speak out. That's my boy. We were cool. He will never do that. We have to, you know, put that aside and realize that, first of all, nobody's perfect. And you might think you know someone, but you don't really know them until they show you the true them, you know? A lot of these motherfuckers out here is weirdos. They do a lot of weird shit. But some people be quiet about it because it's gang, gang, gang. I like that song. That was dope. Damn, Jack Harlow coming different. He's giving you an introspective record that is going to be something that you can take back and be like, 
oh, whatever. The, the album was cool, but that Gang Gang song, I, I got to respect that. You know, he's going to give you something to appreciate no matter what. It's like a timeless effort of a piece right there. I feel like it's a timeless song, Gang Gang Gang. I like that. That was smooth. How do you guys feel? Comment down below. That one might be my favorite one so far now. Denver, next track. Let's go! Walking past a homeless in a Rolex. Years go by and I keep saying I'm going to use my phone less, but I should just be phoneless. But Jason keeps on telling me, say yes, and truth be taught, I know he knows best, but I don't want to do no press. I've become so vain and insecure about everything. Pressure to live up to what they tell me I'm going to be. I'm hiding any sign of weakness from my guys, but the brags and my raps are getting less and less convincing. So Damn. I'd rather just... This shit's real! Wow. I wrote that first verse in Denver back in September feeling like myself again I got angel back in here I need his help again I'm fuck it they gonna check for me I tell myself and tell my friends and if the people that write about me or write about me and sober and focus I cannot walk down no deli alleys that's my mama needs help just wow. my father needs help accounting wow. I'm looking out heaven's window I know that this hell around me wow that was hard that was hard he keeps saying angel angel is he talking about my boy angel the, the producer Maybe he's talking about Angel Lopez. That'll be fire. Shout out to Angel Lopez because Jack has a great team and Jack is very honest, you know, about his, his art right here. He's talking about the shit that he kind of kept from his team. He was scared to, to admit how he's feeling, his insecurities. He's trying to keep a shining armor on, you know, be the cool guy. But he's facing a lot of scrutiny. He's fucking up with his mind as any artist, you know, it would. But it's amazing for him to put it on record. And put that in his art form. You know, you guys doubt me. You guys judge me. Let me rap about it. Instead of just saying, fuck you guys. Acting like it never happened. Which you can do. And could be okay as well. Instead, he's biting the bullet. And talking about it. I I, I respect it. You gotta respect the next song. No enhancers. My homeboy just be cancer. I call my ex no answer. I like my girl Nats. She don't need no enhancers. She don't need no her daddy. She walk around this cold world without no safety net or padding. Good morning, body check the mirror. Hit the scale, how we feel. All the cards stacked against her, but she learning how to deal. She don't need no enhancers. She don't need no enhancers. She don't need no enhancers. Jack made sure. Listen, I'm going to talk my shit this album, but I'm going to give you one of those at least. I'm going to give you something that could be big for the ladies. I'm going to give you a potential hit. We have to be honest. That's a song that can blow up because right now, especially with Black China and everyone kind of going back to natural, it's like we're being reverse brainwashed. And now we're realizing, you know, the beauty of just being natural, no enhancements and the reality that uh, how unhealthy those things can be even though you're insecure you try to change those things about your body you're gonna fuck up your body you put in a lot of toxic plastic bullshit crap into your fucking body fucking stupid but it's okay but you don't need enhancers this song is gonna be huge i think like online i, I feel like girls will respect this I, I like that one right there smooth you know going more almost into the lane of the last album but not really no beat drop here the keeping the same drum patterns there's no crazy drop there's no like ah! like it's like no this is a smooth like not forced I, I i like this i like this uh third to last song it can't be it must be my skin i can't think of any other reason i win it can't be the years of work i put in it can't be the way that i stuck with the same friends it can't be the way i treat people or how i make time to see people it can't be the smile it can't be the eye contact with these crowds it can't be the homage i paid nights when i could have left the studio early but i stayed it can't be the jeep instead of the rolls royce it must be my skin i can't think of any other reason i win that's hard logic Logic! Listen, Logic! That's how you rap about white privilege without sounding like a fucking... I respect him, though. I fucking respect Logic. Let me not lie. I respect Logic. I respect Logic. But damn, I understand why some people feel how they feel about Logic. This is how you rap about your white privilege. Jack Harlow is a perfect example. He knows what the fuck he's doing. He knows what the fuck he's saying. I love that. That was perfect right there. My God. It can't be the way they all said he's a charmer. It can't be the lack of chinks in my armor. It must be my skin. I can't think of any other reason I win. Listen, this song is dope, and I think it's going to inspire a lot of the fan base that he has, where it might be a white kids who might feel discouraged because they're getting judged for being white and listening to hip-hop, etc. 
and it goes to show you like it doesn't matter your skin tone what matters is if you really give a fuck about it and Jack Harlow he's saying here in this song he gives a fuck about it he's giving you a lot of other reasons why more likely he actually is as successful as he is you know he's not bullshitting this is not a gimmick this is not fake this is his real life I like that song that's a great way to tackle white privilege address it on record it's a great rap record in general the way the concept Next track, let's keep it going. Second to last song, Blame On Me. Blame on me. On football in the yard till the lights turned on inside the lamppost. Started hanging with them guys. Suddenly I meant nothing to you. I was destroyed, but I still loved you. I still wanted your approval. If I could get it, I'd cherish it. Instead of looking at me like I'm disgusting, like I'm nothing, like I'm terrified to hear your answer, so I just don't touch it. I don't say nothing. Blame on me. Grew up in the same household, for years we were close Treated you like I hated you, never needed you Insult after insult, hoping they'd eat at you But I know you remember the way the dad would let loose on me I got so much wrongdoing to confess to And you act like it never happened, God bless you Under my roof, raised you with discipline and taught you life's truth Made you feel the weight of every single mistake that you made My hot temper turned up full throttle Everything that you do, he just gonna follow Don't you understand? Cause the way I parent you is how my mother did And the way you treat your little brother is how my older brother did But I'm terrified of broaching the subject I'm terrified to break down So I just don't touch He's talking about fatherhood But it, it sounded like as if He has a, he has a Jack Harlow has no kids, right? So it sounds like if, from my interpretation Maybe his father's experience with him and then him acknowledging how his father grew up learning about maybe his grandfather and the generational curses the generational behaviors generational treatment that our parents parents pass on to our parents and then our parents pass on to us it's a very very serious thing you know currently i'm a father and i'm learning how to be a father you know my son you know, I'm learning how to even small things. You know, I grew up being hit. I grew up being hit. Not necessarily like abused, but being hit. Like, smack the hand. Like, don't touch that. So I'm learning whether to carry that on to my son or not. And it's difficult at times because it's like, that's all I grew up knowing. And it made me the man I am today. Disciplined, etc. But is it necessary as a father so things like that are very 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 real talks that if you listen to this and you relate to it you get it you know so i relate to it and i get it and i respect this you know so i think it's pretty dope he's getting personal here how do you guys feel so far last song on the album let's get to it shout out to angel shout out to the whole jack harlow the entire generation now team this is going to be impactful, I think, on the culture. I think a lot of people are going to be shocked by this album. <laughs> people are going to be shocked by this. Last song. Why I treat my brother like he ain't my only brother? Why I got to treat my manager like I'm above her? Why I got to cheat and make a question if I love her? Why am I so skeptical of God? Why do I pretend like I didn't see it when I saw it? When did I start texting so dry? When did I become this type of a guy? Stop getting replies. Damn. What if things don't turn out how I planned them? What if all these people in my life go Danny Phantom? I'm sick of these little raps, I wanna make anthems. You feel me? I keep you under wraps, you told your mom it's for my branding. I hope she's understanding. What am I supposed to do? Assume her accusations aren't true because I'm close to you. Mass has never heard your boy rapping, so honestly, what makes uh, you uh. Why do I feel I need approval from all my skeptics when I fill arenas up? But what if they stop caring about me? What if they stop swearing by me? I rep the state, but do they care about me in Barron County? Damn. Jack Man, the album. I think this album is major for Jack Harlow's career. I think this is a very seminal moment. It's really introspective. It's really almost like a diary journal. It's one of those projects that a lot of people in their career as rappers and artists, a lot of times, to be honest, they skip making. This is one of those albums that they might create and not drop and then they move on to the next one because they are f afraid to face the music. They're afraid to face the scrutiny. They're afraid to face the actual judgment from critics, reviewers, etc. Jack Harlow is biting the bullet. He's going head on and he's giving you his perspective on things. You know, he's coming at journalists like uh, Needle Drop. You know, 
these Twitter accounts on hip hop, hip hop Twitter accounts that judge him. And at the same time, a lot of them are lo looking like him. They're white people, you know, but then they hate white rappers, you know. And I think that he's so much more than that. He's not just a white rapper. I like the last album. I'm going to stand by that. You guys should revisit it. I think that this album, though, can easily be seen as his best body of work. This could be easily be seen as his best body of work. Now, don't get me wrong. That first album was something different. But if you want an honest project, separating away from the hits and the, you know, whatever, this is the one. I'll give this album a 9 out of 10. I think this album is 9 out of 10. I think this album is strong. I think this album is impressive. I think this album came out of nowhere. Is it the best rap album of 2023 so far? Jack Harlow might have just dropped the best rap album of the year so far. We have to be honest. We have to have that conversation. We have to be not afraid of, oh, he's fucking crazy. Oh, my God. I'm going to leave a comment. He's fucking crazy. He's dick riding. Far from it, brother. We got to be fucking honest. It's honest music. People are hating everything that's out. You know, oh, music's uh, Pound Town. There's just left Pound Town. And I love that song. But there's a clear lane that can be occupied right now. Jack Harlow is trying to do that, you know, by being himself. Now, if I'm Jack Harlow, you start off the year like this, end the year towards winter, another project. You know, maybe towards the end of summer. That might be too soon, you know. But go back to the hit-making route because fuck the naysayers. If you got more people that are going to judge you, Give them this album. They're going to go back and listen to this. Hey, I did this. Listen to what I said on here. You want good, introspective, real rap? I got it on here. You know? We, I think it's really good. This this is really dope of him, you know, to take this approach, be introspective. It takes a lot of fucking balls. It takes a lot of balls, a lot of courage in this as an artist. You got to be brave, you know, to be vulnerable like this. They going to love me for my ambition.